A config map is an object which is designed to store non-sensitive configuration information. It's very similar to a secret object. In fact, most of what you just learned about secrets apply to config maps as well. That means that we'll be able to run through this section at a fairly rapid pace. But first, I want to bring up a common question. Why does Kubernetes have config maps in the first place? After all, one of the primary purposes for a Docker image is to bundle an application with all of its configuration information. And yet, I'm now telling you that config maps provide the means to store configuration information outside of a Docker image. What's going on here? Some configuration information needs to be customized based on the environment. This type of config data is a good candidate for placement in a config map. The second type of configuration information changes rarely, if ever. This kind of data should remain bundled in a Docker image. Config maps give you better flexibility over how configuration information is used in a cluster. Hopefully, that helps you to understand the rationale for config maps. You can create a config map in many of the same ways that you create secrets. Here's how you use the create config map command to create a config map from a property file. Now, the property file can be named whatever you like. The only requirement is that the properties are listed out one per line with the format key equals value. This is equivalent to the previous example, except that custom key is used as the key. You can pass a directory to the create config map command, and it'll create config map entries for each file in that directory. Here's an example of how you create a config map from literal values. And here's how you create a config map with two entries, the property file and the literal bees equal honey. Take a look at the contents of the config map that we just created. The vertical bar dash is YAML syntax indicating that the subsequent block should be treated as a single string instead of as three individual properties. Of course, you can also create a config map from a configuration file. For instance, this config file creates the exact same config map as the previous command. Just like with Kubernetes secrets, there are two ways for a pod to use a config map. You can project config map values onto environment variables or onto files on a volume. Let's start by looking at how you do it with environment variables. Here's a config file for a config map which stores pet names. And here's a pod which extracts those config map entries and echoes them out to be captured by the container logs. This is almost exactly the same as what we did with secret objects. The only difference is that we have config map key ref instead of secret key ref. Everything else is the same. Name refers to the name of the config map and key refers to the config map key whose values should populate the environment variable. 